and the Vietna Vietnamese fighter. Vietnamese Rousseau. fighter too. And the winner. Of this and the winner of this bout to be determined. Chinese Taipei in the blue corner, Wei Ha Huang versus in the red corner, Iran, Mushtaba Daravati Aram. This will be my first Chinese Taipei fight that I've seen in this championship. That is true. That you know what? It's mine too. I've never seen them fight before, even in my life. Not in just not just in this tournament. I've never seen them in IFMA before. You can see there's a little bruise on his left thigh. Probably got a few low kicks in, the in his previous fight. Iranian fighter looks a bit nervous there. Yeah. But you know what? They have been really training hard. They have been really investing in themselves. Yeah, it's not easy training in Muay Thai. Is it? It's a lot. It's a long day. That is true. And you know something? This, this Chinese Taipei fighter, he looks ready. Smiling into his coach, smiling around. And here it starts, ladies and gentlemen. Both fighters performing the Y crew. I don't know, Andrew, but I have a good feeling about this fight. I think this yeah. fight is also going to look so good. For some reason, it's like the energy or it's something mean. in the air, Andrew. I don't know what it is. But you know what? It's making me very, very excited. There's something a bit mystical about these two. I don't know what it is yet. I mean, he's so serious, a bit yeah. nervous. He's smiling around. Yeah. Two different characters like that. The, the yin and yang. Yin and yang. <laughs> 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 uh, they complete each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do indeed. There we go. That little stump there, you know. Yep. I'm there. I'm. You know what? I'm powerful. I'm strong. Yep. I love it. Such a good... It's psychological, isn't it? I psychological, guess. yes. Very psychological. Leaves a mark. I've got a stamp on you. Yes. I'm leaving my mark. I'm strong. It's about to begin, Andrew. What's in store? Three rounds. Three three minute rounds of a one minute break. And ladies and gentlemen, you know what? The last fight tonight. And we have a good feeling about this. Yep. I think this is around the, the tenth fight I've been sat here or maybe more and it just flies by you know it just flies by because it's so much fun watching these fights from this close I'm thinking oh no what, what, what am I going to do after this you know <laughs> how do I go back to reality after we, watching we, this uh, level of fights you know what we focus on tomorrow ladies and gentlemen exactly. that's what we're going to do that's exactly what we're going to do tomorrow is going to be an even better day Andrew <laughs> and you know what day after tomorrow the finals gonna that's going to be epic epic indeed and here it starts ladies and gentlemen Round one, the red corner, Iran versus blue corner, Chinese Tepe, feeling each other out. Throws a low kick and misses. Tick, sticks his hands out. Bit of a cheeky fighter, but his chin is too up high. Iranian's got his chin down, hands up in the red corner. Yeah, he's got a very tight guard, hasn't he? Closed up everywhere. Referees like fights. On yeah. the third one, he's going to ask them to actually fight. And... Here it goes, it's about to start. All right, yeah, a, 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 a very oh. timid start from both fighters, I would say. Look at that. Something about this fighter in the blue. 
But you think he's got a, a few a few aces up his sleeve? I, I believe so. He's, he's too confident. When you're confident like that, you've got something up your sleeve. Yeah, he knows something. Checks that beautifully. It's like he's got his weight in his thighs. Oh, what a nice uppercut from the blue corner, but red corner catches him with the left. Oh, misses Ooh, that see, left hook. Red, red got his head down almost too much there, you see. Yeah. Almost looking at the floor. Too worried. Nice. Oh. Not too much, not too much action with the knees there. Is he hurt? Oh, it's just his head guard. Yeah. Yeah. Heading into oh. the final minute. Oh, oh, what a beautiful takedown! Beautiful knee just from the red. Slams him on the canvas. Slams him there. Oh. He's dominating the game, the one in the red now, the, the red corner, Iranian fighter, Mushtaba. Spin kick, misses, weak spin kick, not really powerful, just trying to make a show. Yeah. Not a good timing to make a show, because he caught him with a nice knee to the face, drops him down with a hook, and the referee's gonna give him a count. You see, that's the problem I have with some of the fighters there, Andrew. Yeah. You know, they walk in a bit too confident. Yeah. And then this happens. I think as well, a lot of them, there's sometimes they're just going through the motions. You know, the, the drills or, you know, like you see earlier, the guy with the, with the spinning back fist. Yeah. He's just, he's just going through over what and he knows, over and over. what he knows. It's like beating a dead horse. It's not yeah, happening. It is, yeah, and it's, it's dangerous, isn't it? When people get wise to it. Well, I mean, we can say that this fight might not go the distance. Round one is yeah. over, ladies and gentlemen. I think this was a very good round. Another a good example of what we need to see in every fight, in every event. Going in a bit too confident, not too focused on what you need to do, what you learn to do, which is throwing combinations, throwing mm -hmm. punches and kicks. And this is how the comeback is. It hurts. Quite contra contrasting styles from both fighters. They've got, they've got quite. They're not sort of gel gelling, if you know what I mean. It's That's true. Like he's got like the style where his hands are down, chin a up. Of, a bit of a sort of uh, kung fu sort. Yeah, of. kung fu kind of movement. Very, uh, very light kicks, but fast. But this guy is like pure Muay Thai, yeah. coming in at him with his chin down, with his hands up, guard up, you know, and just so serious. Not shaking his head, not not nodding, not sticking his hands out like, what are you doing? Nothing. The the Iranian fighter in the red corner is just focused on punching and kicking and yep. clinching. And that's how it's got to be just, in the Muay Thai world. Just bread and butter and, and, and no tricks. No tricks. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, round two, all the way from Abu Dhabi in the Muay Thai Asia Championships. Chinese Taipei just trying to sort of beckon him in into his uh, range. But Andrew, he's got his guard down. I'm a f I think he's gonna get knocked out I think pretty soon right. because he's got his he's got his chin up and he's got his hands down, and that does not work in this. No, not in this spot. You know, we saw we saw that that Kazakhstani fighter yep. dropping his hands, but he was he was really good at it. It was a trap because every time his opponent would come at him, he would catch him. That's a good style when you're really good at it. But this this guy in the blue corner here, yep. I think he needs to keep his chin down and his hands up and just go traditional Muay Thai Absolutely. when fighting against a strong opponent like this also. Oh, there we go. He catches him with those punches. Oh, oh, Knees. That's going to hurt. And he's giving him a count. What a good referee. You know what? If he didn't stop that, if he didn't give him a count now, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, definitely. We'd be talking yep. a go-to-sleep knockout. Good on the referee. And now they're back on it. I think the Iranian's gonna wanna finish it now. There we go, yeah. punches to the head, knee to the head. Punches him again in the face. Yeah, I think we're heading to another Knees count. him in the face, takes him down. And you know what, this is one of those that I think the referee is gonna call it off. 
six, seven, ladies and gentlemen, eight, nine, and it's over. I did call it. He is going to call it off. Well done on the referee. Good job, referee. You called it right. This fight shouldn't go on along any longer. Iranian fighter in the red corner did an amazing job. What do you think, Andrew? I, I think you're right, yeah. And as we've said numerous times tonight, it's safety first. And yeah, they're doing a great job, the referees. So, yeah, we move into the semi-finals tomorrow. Oh, I cannot wait for that. You know what? I'm not going to yeah. be able to sleep tonight, Same. Andrew. Christmas I'm has come early. Christmas is coming early. And I'm going to be sitting there tonight wondering what's going to happen tomorrow night. Ladies and gentlemen, do not miss this. Do join us tomorrow for the semi-finals because it's going to be incredible. It's going to be great, yeah. The amount of, of energy that's going to be there tomorrow because you can imagine they want it so bad and they want to get to the finals so bad. So they're going to go at each other so super hard. Andrew, thank you so much yeah, for having me with you. It's been a Such pleasure. a pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Much love yep. from me, from Najmuddin Scorpion, from, from, you know what, bringing this to the Abu Dhabi. Being able to see this in my own hometown yep. just makes me feel so proud. For, thank you so much. For free as well. And for free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we'll catch you tomorrow, no doubt, uh, on the Olympic Channel. All right. I'm looking forward. Yeah. I'll All see right. you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.